Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new upgrade unboxing. I'm quite excited to dig into this one actually because it's really really heavy, you know. Also, I can't I can't hear the rustling of pens. So, I'm excited and hopefully they tried something new this month. That was so not smooth. Okay. Starting with our little envelope. I'm just gonna say real quick that I love the fact that they don't use this part of the envelope anymore because this means that re you can reuse them for something. Okay, so dropping things all over the place. Oh god, no. Okay, we got bugs. Oh god, okay, that's the postcard. <laughs> That's the postcard for the month. We have the upgrade battle, which we'll look into a little bit later. We also have the spoilers for the month, along with a bunch of stickers. I gotta tell you, bugs freak me the actual leap out. So yeah, um, <laughs> I'm covering that up. But um, yeah, we got... Um, I'm gonna assume some inking materials because it says keep calm and get inky on the postcard. So um, first thing that we have is a Graph Master Permanent Liner and it's a alcohol-based ink liner that's supposed to be quick drying. Actually, it looks like there's a set of three in there. Can you see? Um, that's pretty cool. So we have a 0 0.4, a 0 0.6 and a 1.0 tip. Can you just see? Napoleon is like laying on my arm right now and I don't want to disturb him because he looks so comfy but like I, I need this arm to do things. Napoleon! <laughs> okay, anyways. Sorry, distraction. Oh god, we'll look at those later. I can't. I can't. Okay, I did not do as great as I did last month. I tore a big asshole. <gasps> is this... Oh my god, I'm excited. Is this what I think it is? Because if it is what I think it is, I'm gonna be so excited so excited oh my god it is what i think it is um it seems that we have some lino cutting supplies we have the carver tool and a variety of different tips next thing that we got is a ivory black lino print color from schminke if you don't know schminke is like my favorite brand in the entire world when it comes to watercolors so i'm really excited to try this out we also have the little roller to get the paint on evenly then we have a soft block of lino and we have the bigger size, which is the more solid one. So yeah, <laughs> I'm so freaking excited. Okay, I was busting their balls last month for having all pens again. And then this month they just outdid themselves. I absolutely love this box. Oh, okay, there's more stuff in here. We have some elastics. I don't know what these are for. I've never done lino printing. I've just admired the art form for a very long time. Um, so I have looked into it. I just haven't actually done it, but these, I don't know what they're for. So we'll find out, I suppose. Um, also, not sure what the cloth is for. Are you supposed to print on this, maybe? I don't know, maybe. What's this? Okay, so basically this is the brand of the paper that they're using and something that's pretty cool is that the paper has at least one deckled edge, it says. So let's have a look at that. I love like natural looking paper. I absolutely love that. And it's gonna look so good with the kind of rusticness of the print as well. Uh, then we have tracing paper and we also have some sketching paper. Uh, this feels like basically just like copy paper. I'm gonna guess that the idea is us sketching our idea on this, transferring the design over to this, and then finally stamping on like the fancy paper. And last but not least, what's in the box is the Inky Dog Studio, which is the co-captain. This is the print of the month. Love this one. I think it's so absolutely stunning. So yeah, Inky Dog Studio. Go show them some love. Although I don't like the bugs. Look at the birdie instead. Okay, now that we have everything out, I need to... Okay, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I need to read this because this is... Oh my god! No way! What the... Okay, this is actually pretty, pretty cool. So it's a makeshift mask 
it's very mouth covering mask made out of cotton and then it just gives you you have the elastic cord that goes behind your ears and then you have the fabric and you have all the instructions and everything for making it you know what this is wow i'm impressed upgrade I'm impressed. This is like a fun side project. Wire for fastening the nose area. What? Did I miss something in the box? Um, okay, whatever this wire is, is missing in my box. But this is pretty cool. I like this. I'm actually so impressed. I think that this is a really nice creative touch that's very, very relevant to the current situation in the world right now. So we have the inking roller, the lino board, the lino cutter with the different tips. You have the carving block, which would be the this one, I believe, yes. Uh, then we have the aqua lino print ink and the transparent paper for tracing and drawing with pencil chalk and ink so yeah so yeah they actually say like turn the page for our different gimmick so the gimmick this month is the diy mask which i think is pretty cool and i love the fact that they're giving you like one more project to make instead of paper clips to be fair <laughs> so yeah um now what <laughs> where's the the upgrade battle for this month is optimism i feel like this is probably something that all of us need more of right now um i have an idea actually i have a couple of ideas i i'm excited let's let's do this I'm really excited guys <laughs> okay so the first things that i feel like i should do is probably just i i don't think i'm gonna swatch these things because you know i can't really i'm not gonna use them just the way they are if that makes any sense so I'm just gonna try out the different nibs on the different surfaces and see which one I prefer working with. The, the softer rubbery one or the more hard one. And then we're just gonna start sketching, I suppose. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I'm excited. Let's start with the biggest one. So I'm just gonna start up in the corner and see it came. Oh wow, okay. That is easier than I thought it was gonna be. Um, wow. I feel like this one's probably easier to control. I'm scared. Like I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to waste the things. Which one is the second biggest? Like these ones are like same. One bigger. I think this one is slightly bigger. Okay. Uh, where to start? Where to start? Um, this was probably the best art subscription box I've ever gotten. Like. I've been subscribed to Scrawlerbox for like, what, over two years now? And I've been subscribed to Upgrade for a few months as well. But honestly, this, this is just blowing all of the other boxes out of the water. This was so much fun. Like, so much fun. I can't even begin to describe how happy I am. This is like the reason I subscribe to these boxes is to try new things like this. Things that I probably wouldn't try otherwise. And just do something completely new and out of my comfort zone. Doing something that's just, yeah, I don't know. It was so much fun, guys. It was really nice and refreshing. And hats off to you, Upgrade. I'm impressed. I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. Um, okay, <laughs> let me talk about the the art for this challenge. Uh, the prompt was optimism, and the first thing that I think about when I think of optimism is my puppy. He is like optimism <laughs> impersonated. Uh, you know, he's always happy. He's always like in the best mood ever. It's like every day is the best day of his life, which is great like he's always happy and optimistic and when when i think about optimism i think about napoleon so i decided to do napoleon as kind of a simpler illustration because i don't know how much detail i was gonna be able to do uh with uh, the lino carving so i wanted a simpler design as well as a more complicated one and the more complicated one i decided to go with a butterfly because if you see a butterfly it makes you happy right i don't know maybe it's just me um anyways when i 
when I see a butterfly, I, I become happy. It's like it's like a, a good vibe sign. I don't know, that sounds really weird and far-fetched. But for me, optimism and being happy and positive, uh, you know, when I see a butterfly, I feel all of those things. So that's why I decided to do this. I decided to go with a monarch butterfly uh, because of the intricate pattern on the wings mostly. I felt like it was gonna look really nice nice and just the black ink and that's that's my whole reasoning why I chose this butterfly. Uh, there are so many beautiful ones but I ended up just on this one. There's there's no further logic than that. Uh, to transfer the sketch by the way I traced it on the tracing paper and then I put the side with the graphite down on top of the uh, the rubber block and then I taped it down so it wouldn't move around and I just scraped it with a palette knife to transfer the design and this worked really great actually like <laughs> way greater than I expected it to which was uh, pretty cool it was like just a clean transfer which was great uh, it did not transfer as well on the gray block as it wasn't like as sticky so the graphite didn't want to transfer as as cleanly but I don't really mind. Uh, I also started um, just filling in all the black areas with a black pen but then I realized that I was kind of just double working if that makes any sense like it I, I don't need to fill those and I already have the lines so I decided to just go in and start carving and boy oh boy <laughs> I think that I may have a um, bit of more than I can chew with this design. It was really really hard getting all those teeny tiny details in the wings. It was it was a challenge for sure. Um, I feel like I probably should have done something simpler for my very first one but I didn't and you know it was a challenge. It was fun. It was great. I had a few mishaps. You will see there is a band-aid <laughs> showing up on one of my fingers in a little bit because I ended up cutting myself quite a few times. And uh, yeah, that is a Batman band-aid because everybody knows that Batman band-aids are like a bazillion times better than any other band-aid. So that's why. Also, I'm an adult. <laughs> Don't question me. Uh, you can also see that I ended up going over the design with the roller and the ink just to see kind of if I missed any spots and things like that and at this point I felt like it was really messy so I actually started doing the design on the gray block instead and ah, the gray block was so much harder like it was a real challenge I thought I was gonna be able to do more details on it because it was firmer um, but I just ended up slipping and hurting myself like a bunch of times. So uh, I wouldn't recommend <laughs> doing that. Like um, if you were doing more detailed work, I would definitely suggest doing the softer one, at least as a uh, beginner. Um, this is just my personal preference, I suppose, but I found it to be much, much easier to work on the blue softer block than it was on the more firm gray one. So yeah, that's just... <laughs> So yeah, that's that's basically my my perception on this whole thing. In the end, I en ended up giving up on the gray block because I just kept hurting myself. Like I stabbed myself in that finger like four times and it's still bleeding. It's currently the next day and it's still bleeding. So yeah, uh, be careful, please. These things are sharp. Um, however, although I feel like things could have gone way, way better, I'm so excited with how this turned out. I'm actually really proud of this being my first attempt and I can't wait to make more lino prints. I feel like I'm off to a pretty good start and the little wiener dog illustration is... <laughs> Uh, it's so derpy, but I kind of love it. I kind of want to work on this as like a proper design and just refine it a little bit because I think it's absolutely adorable and it reminds me so much of Napoleon that I just, it just makes me happy and I feel like it's, it's such a cute design. Uh, although the print itself didn't turn out great, I, I have, I have faith in this one, okay? <laughs> 
um, anyways, I don't know what else to say, so I think I'm just gonna leave it at that. This was so much fun, guys. So much fun. Uh, definitely recommend trying this if you haven't before. It was, it was, uh, it was so great, guys. It was nice, it was relaxing, except for the points where I stabbed myself in the finger. But other than that, I had an absolute blast and I'm really happy with how these turned out. Um, next time I'm probably gonna do something a bit simpler and not all that detail in the wings. Yeah, that would be awesome. So <laughs> anyways, that's everything I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you didn't, that's also fine. I hope you're having a lovely day or night or evening or whatever it is as you're watching this. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and happy printing. Bye!